How's it going, kid? I'm really, really good. Things are nice. You're nice. Cool. I'm gonna tell you a story today, and it's a good one, in my opinion. So I was in Disneyland a couple weeks ago, as many of you know, because I won't shut up about it. It's really great, okay? And something that I learned while I was in Disneyland is that if you want to see humans turn into vicious wild animals, Go to Toontown right when it opens. If you've been to Disneyland before or just know about it, you may know that Toontown opens an hour later than the rest of the park. There might be a reason, but I don't know it. For those of you who don't know, Toontown is essentially Mickey's neighborhood, and there's lots of photo ops, and it's really cute, and Mickey's there, and Goofy's there, and Donald's there, and Minnie's there, and Chip and Dale are there, and the whole gang's there, and it's really, really cute. Yeah! So I'm with my friend Adara, and we're just walking along, we see Toontown, we're like, eh, 20 minutes before it opens, we'll just chill, we'll just hang out around the gate, and it'll be fine. Big mistake by the way. It's still 20 minutes before the gate opens, there's a few people waiting around, they all look kind of bored. Meh, big deal, we're just gonna kind of stand off to the side and wait. A few more people start to show up as we approach the 10 minute mark. There seems to be this kind of weird tension in the air. I'm kind of looking around and everyone seems to kind of be on edge. Everyone seems to start moving closer to the gate and we kind of step forward too, kind of confused. Then boom, we're at the 10 minute mark and all of a sudden everyone and their mother shows up at the Toontown gate forming this weirdly anxious crowd. Where did all these people come from all of a sudden? I started to get a little bit nervous and confused because I felt like I didn't belong. Why wasn't I anxious? What is there to be anxious about? Adara and I are just kind of standing there looking around a little bit confused as to why everyone is here. I mean, it's Toontown. It's great, but there's not that much to do there. I consider asking Adara if she wants to leave and then come back later, but we waited so long and I just wanted to know what this big crowd was about. So we wait. Another big mistake, by the way. Then we're at the two minute point and everyone starts cheering. We've got kids on dad's shoulders. We've got aggressive moms with strollers. We've got grandmas just having the best time. This was the day they waited 70 years for. And I'm just standing there like, what the heck is going on? I was a little scared, I'll admit. And then it was time for Toontown to open. And who comes out but Mickey Mouse himself. And every person in that freaking crowd lost their mind. And when I say lost their mind, I mean lose all sense of human nature and go completely bananas. There were a million screaming kids, but mostly screaming parents. Literally every person was screaming things like, Mickey! The Mickey Mouse! Mickey! It's really him! In Disneyland! Of all places! Ah! I kid you not. Those were literal words coming from every person's mouth. I understand that you're excited, but oh my goodness. It was just baffling to watch these parents shove other families out of the way to get their kid to the front. Mickey, take my firstborn child, it would be an honor. I really hope my neighbors can hear me filming this right now. <laughs> Did you know you have the power to make people lose their minds? So anyways, Mickey waves and hugs some kids that aren't being offered as sacrifices, and then he opens the gate to Toontown, which is great, but now the competition gets even more intense because now we all need to race to Mickey's house so we can go meet him again. Mickey! I have never seen whole families move together in such desperation before. I love you, but it's all your fault. So I think the moral of the story is that if you value your safety, don't go to Toontown right when it opens. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day because you are so wonderful. Seriously, please never forget that and I will talk to you guys later.